All right. Okay. Without further ado, I think we should start the section now. Well, um, like what we can see from the screen, obviously we will talk about uh this industry grocery, right? Um, before starting, may I know that uh, can you tell me recently? Usually, you like to shop at which grocery? Okay, you can type your your answer in the chat box. Like let's say. You like to go to Jaya Grocer, then you can type a Jaya Grocer, or you like to go to Giant or Tesco or the um some neighborhood mini grocery near you. Maybe you can let me know. I like to go 99 smart but sometimes there's some different line in this grocery industry they have big and small players right like I said just now they have Aeon they have Tesco Jaya Grocer they are very big one like chain store they also have a smaller one they available at your neighborhood like 99 mark but 99 mark the things that they carry in Aeon and Jaya Grocer are different Right, and some of the neighborhood chain maybe not as well known as 99 Mart, uh, but they are still very popular at your neighborhood, and then they also um, offer more variety than 99 Speed Mart or KK Mart. Okay, so today we would like to uh, explore more, let you know uh, the difference in this type of uh, in the grocery industry. and. We know that grocery is our essential everything we need to use things that we can get from grocery but how do we know that what is the, the strategies and how do we let our business in grocery stay relevant and stay future proof okay what do we do what do we mean that stay relevant and future proof right so this is why that we like to invite simon where our expert in the grocery industry uh, of this retail industry expert to let us know what is the strategy is to let us stay ahead of the competition in this very uh, essential it is essential industry in, in this grocery market okay Simon Day are you ready yes ladies and gentlemen thank you for your time to attend today's sharing session about the grocery industry solutions. So today we're sharing the focus on the growth and future. What the ready strategy we should carry on for grocery industry solutions. So today, today we cover certain topics. So share with you what kind, what we call the grocery business. What the challenges facing. What the solution we do overcome. What the opportunity we can gather after you adopt the solutions. Then what the success technique you may apply to, then if you know all the success technique, how to do action plan. Lastly, I'll share with you our success story, who are success in this industry. Pandemic, pandemic era, I think all of you have passed, go through this pandemic era more than one and a half years. Is it? So during the period of times, there's some of list of essential service is able to run in as the list here like healthcare, pharmacy, banking, finance, food and beverage, they only available for takeaway and delivery only. Grocery, public transportation and logistics, military and security defense, water, energy, oil and gas, environment and waters management. This is a list of essential services can do their business during the pandemic era. So today, we talk about the grocery. Why we say about grocery? This grocery is where we can get our daily essential items. That means that like fresh food, baking thing food, dry goods, household product, and they are only 24 hours. So these pieces is proven in the pandemic era is good pieces. Am I right? I think you agree on that, grocery industry, good pieces, doing well. Why I say that? Because grocery provide the daily basic grocery for the home users. Actually, during the pandemic era, MCO retreat tie-in. 
It turns a lot of people go back to home to cook. That's why grocery can supply this basic need for them. Eventually, for the Malaysia homeless, uh, they spend third of the monthly income in the food and in the food expenses. So the huge value they spend to the grocery industry. So in this area, for grocery industry, they should think about the operation, how to uh, make them more efficient and make the people come to store to spend. So this is the change to face it. They need to overcome this kind of weakness of operation and view with the adopt of the new technology uh, we foresee in the future to expand the business accordingly. So this is thing they need to think about that. In the course, they have separate the two type of business models. Uh, they're small and big. Small, we say about neighbor store like minimarket or convenience store or green grocer, health food store. For big, you may name it hypermarket, supermarket. So who they are for small? Basically, they are like, like a nice speed speedmark. A small time, you can find an agronoma mini market. For convenience store, you can see a lot, a lot of the way. There's a 7 Eleven, MyNew.com, and the small just foods and food market. This is more uh, business scale of the grocery. For big giant supermarket, hypermarket, there is, I think I just mentioned by the Units, there's a Jazz School, Yon Supermarket, and Giant Hypermark. So, this is a two type of business model in the Malaysia markets. So, basically, before we go deep, do you know that running the grocery industry, how they make money, how they make profit? Okay, to share with you a, a little tip. Uh. As a rule, grocery store operate with on a profit margin as low as 1% to 3% only. So they make money by selling large quantity. They also try to minimize string, death and spoil products and keep labor costs as low as possible. Also by hiring more part-time employees. Where? Because they get few benefits. So this is one of the tip and success in this industry. Furthermore, we do some strength analysis, soft analysis for you have an idea regarding the, this industry, what the strength they have, what the needs they're facing, what the opportunity they get, and they what the trick they're facing. We talk about the trend. Huh? So in here, I share with you regarding the proven business model. Why I say that? Costly, uh, costly business is the design is based on the cost-effective shop design. This kind of business, they have a top uh, more than 50 years experience throughout the 50 year ago in the operation the owner know how on how the operation look like how to uh, do the operation as fair as possible so this is a proven business model you can use it then furthermore every bit of variety of good of daily needs as supermarkets they're doing the daily fresh food like vegetable fresh food and dairy product, etc. Well. Since they provide these goods in one place, so the, this is very convenient for the customer to go one place to purchase all items in one place. This is the strength of the grocery. But the strong distribution, because they feel that the pieces are running quite well, so they know how to duplicate the pieces, like go to franchises or subsidy their business model. So this is how is the uh, strength of the grocery on the multiple their business model. Lastly, good return of capital expenditure. What it means called good return of expenditure. Because the financial investment for this grocery industry is more on the product and services. With this strategy, they can produce a lot of the uh, business model like franchises and more, more open the outlet by outlet, increase their uh, sale channel by multiple areas. This is the good return of the capital expenditures. Of course, they, they strength their weakness. So weakness, what they're facing currently, there's one of the pricing sensitive and price fluctuation. Why I say that? Because supermarket, because they supply the fresh food, like the vegetable, 
this one really will really depend on the supplier side to give in the price. That's why the price really fluctuates the hard to control. Next, possible of the spoiled fresh food. Next, because of the supplier supply the fresh food like the vegetable, because this kind of item, he must sell in the limit of time. If you sell not follow the time frame, so it will spoil. So this is a risk, the weakness they're facing. Operation difficulty, when they go to multiple chain store, they're difficult to manage if you don't have proper system to manage the franchise pieces or multiple store, am I right? So this is a weakness they're facing. Of course, the opportunity they can gain to, to success also. So first of all, easy to expand because they don't know how to duplicate open outlet by outlet, easy to expand. Maybe continue develop on online sales. The another opportunity they, they grow their business offline sales, they can go to online, do the online business together. Open multiple channel sale channel. Then another the green grocery trend, uh, this is famous now. So a lot of people prefer go to green grocery shop instead go to the supermarket mall. So the opportunity they can invest. Do the program. Don't miss up this logic program because this is help you to build the local community and uh, let your customer uh, buy, uh, buy with you. It's some of the logic you should invest. Lastly, the track we'll be facing now is number one, competition is why I said that because now they can see a lot, we can see a lot of new groceries to come out. So how you overcome, how you stand up from among this competitor? The limitation risk. Repetition means that this is the, oh, in, the, in today world, the customer, the consumer expectation uh, is getting more higher and higher. So in order you can make your brand become more famous, so you must know the customer purchase inside. So you can provide the more exciting item or exciting activity to increase your customer service. So this is some of the repetition you should think about that. Operation is when you go to open multi chain store. So operation side, you need to think of the better solution how to manage your multi outlet. Lastly, security risk. Normally, we talk about the theft or your casual misconduct. So this is four risk common you face by the grocery. So this is SWOT analysis for grocery industry. So when you you know how it's too light, like, so. What the next we can do? Basically, since you know your these kind of challenges, so what you want to do is number one, do we have a well organized operation management in your career environment, or do you have a comprehensive external system help you to grow and make your operating in the simplified and easy to manage? So these two big challenges. You should think about it, how to overcome this. So now, refer just now the uh, question and challenges. So maybe we talk about three solutions, we think about that. Number one, we need to counter purpose, how to make the operation management easily, how to make your sales maximize it, then how to use member management to do your recurring sales. So these three solutions is to adopt it, your door is success in your business. More I talk about the operation management. So here, actually there are a lot of the things you need to overcome, but we share the four major issues you should think about that. Number one, reorder stock. I believe that reorder stock for the person is very uh, difficult and very hard to manage. For reorder stock, there are four different angles. So number one, you may base on your stock level, to delimit your order's process cycle. Number two, you may think based on your sales performance to take the early order advice. Third, you may be your supplier quantity offer to take the better offer. Fourth, uh, you may think about how to... Okay, for, I forgot, sorry about that. So in this new order cycle, so there are four methods. So how to let system do the automatic for you. Basically, system, we have an analysis for the owner understand that. System help to generate the stock, reorder advice 
maximum level and minimum level based on the sales analysis history. This is auto gender slightly otherwise for you in sick, you may need to track and do manually. So this have a set of manpower to prepare the reorder advice. So this is the first thing you need to overcome. Fast entry, they basically just talk about, we do the good receive notes and stock count, how you do it, how to make it easy for a software to stock, stock receive note. So in here, we can provide a portable device. This device can scan the item and update the quantity accordingly. Then after you've done that, you automate update to your good receive notes. Fast and easy. When it comes to stock card also, mean to say, when you go to the house, you just scan particular item and key in the basic physical quantity. System auto help the generator so variety for you. So this is our main power to do manually accordingly. So this help your operation side in warehouse management. Furthermore, prior purchasing history. I think this is very really important because it track you the item cost tracking. Why is that important? Because item costing is very important for grocery industry because the profit margin is one to three percent, as just I mentioned in the slide. So how do system help you? In here, we will provide you one of the two we call spy inspector. Allow the allow your purchaser can get the as low as the cost price accordingly when you're using these tools. This will help your grocery industry maximize your cost profit. Integration also very important because as you're doing the grocery, they have a lot of fresh items, so we need to pack and view it. So we have an integration module allow the system link with certain plan of the wing scale automatically allow your cashers to scan it easily. Furthermore, in here we also integrate other payment gateway like e-wallet, credit card transition, this will help your cashier minimize the double entry and minimize the mistake during this cashless process. So this is a one way for method it can help you to smooth the of operation management. I think this is more interesting for the grocery industry. How to do the sales maximization during this pandemic or futures? So this sales maximization is very important for your business. I think first model, business franchise model already mentioned in the early slide. When your business success, you should duplicate your business model, either two model, either subsidy or franchise model. In here, easy for a group business. Then when come to franchise model, how is them to help you? Because franchise sales model, it means they are selling the same item. So how easy for your franchises to join your franchises business model? So you must have a proper franchise model allow you the all the transition or item sync between these two entity. We have this solution for you. No need to worry about that. Just open it. Your solution to help you to smooth operations. Next, to open more sales channels. What mean O to O sales channels? Basically, O to O mean to say is how to make your business pizza offline we go to online we come to go to online where do you go so we suggest to you is you use the current operation to so you go to marketplace to build your more sales activity then like next next you need to go open your e-store we open e-store is allow your current membership to go to your online store to purchase accordingly so make the convenient to your current customer of future sales. This how to maximize your sale by open more sale channel. When it comes to the loyalty program, then another important rule is how to increase your membership. So in here, we propose you the business model called member get member. So how does it work? When you op each, when you do a membership system, you might think about it. How to increase your member? The first way is Encourage your current member to introduce a new friend to join your merchant MRI. Right? This is the best way. So in, in terms of you want to do that, you need a better way to manage the, your current member helping you to introduce. So we get the tools called member can member. How it work? Basically, wherever the member introduce a new member to the your company, your merchants, so the SM member you get certain benefit for whatever the our member spend. So this is how to, the, the point, how to encourage your member to do that. Because wherever you time, you might get benefit to the membership. 
So this is one of the tools used to implement, to increase your sales maximum. Because when members grow, the other way is your sales grow together. And there's some more member is there, recurring sales. Don't forget that. It's a very important point you should invest. Promotion plan. Basically, nowadays, running promotion, I think, is very common. But what the effective way to do the promotion plan? So in here, you can pre-schedule pre a promotion in a platform. You can plan it ahead for the quarterly season. In here, we provide sort of the famous promotion type for you have the idea like in the supermarket like uh, sorry, the hypermarket like Giant, you can use PWP. It's common uh, using on their business model. We call the Young Big, they don't know me the member day promotion. Or as well, like make a match, cash in bid, doing discount. This is all a lot of promotion method you can plan ahead. But before you do promotion back, you should have a, uh, we call it the sales insight and then the product should be do promotion. So this kind of information you should get from the report. Because in system, it should produce certain report to let you know which report, which item should do the promotion and attract the people come to the shop. So in here, we can post the report how to proper planning your promotion plan. So that one, when you come to the information, we show you how we do that. So this is one of the four pieces, uh, four model you can implement and maximize your sales maximizations. Lastly, the member management. I think this is a, a lot of uh, business running, but what is the efficient way to doing in this member management? So I show you four methods. Basically, this is a common running in the market, point reward. I know all people running the get the member point, but when it comes to intention, how beautiful your system to engage your member, like your member point. First, in here, our system can help you to convert the point to the in the monetary. That means that whatever point you get, you convert the money to purchase the item in your shop. And then this is the uh, the actual the main point to let your customer member know. And you based on that, you to think about that. When come customer come to the shop to purchase it and the point, they should use a point to purchase the item in your shop, right? Instead, you need instead of the counter to do the stop redemption. Because the, when it comes to open the stop to redemption, that is not the best way. Because the item you take from the counter maybe not suit the member needs. Am I right? But in a way, if you allow the member use a point, cover the money to purchase the good in your shop. Because when people come to the shop, they buy the thing is because they want the, something they need. That's why I come to your shop. So this is a better way to manage your point rewarding using the our new technology and new pointing uh, uh, rewarding methods. I think this is the best way. Then another thing is a push of I think it's very important. Nowadays, you want to push the notification to customer is very common. So whatever the TV you want to run using push notification, very, very straightforward and direct reach to your membership. So your member will alert any activity running by your company like promotion or new product launching, then they come to the shop and spend accordingly. To encourage your sales more, more effective, that means encourage member come to do a recurring sales, so you need to do some of new voucher distribution. This is some of the uh, voucher alert your member because wherever voucher we distribute to the member, we have set some expired date. So this will encourage member to spend accordingly because when you receive a certain voucher, I believe you think when I want to use it. I want to do waste it, right? So this is some of the tools to encourage the member to come into recurring sales. So you want your distribution is one of the way to increase your sales activity. Lastly, to make the bad man, but your, man, uh, your member happy. So birthday reward cannot be missed. Because when the birthday man come to the member, so the member receives the birthday voucher reward day, we automatically go to the shop to purchase because is their birthday month, they should spend the money to reward themselves, right? So birthday reward is one of the 
best way to reward member and the other way to make your member happily. So member management, the last objective is to make your member happily and do the curriculum as much as possible. So this is formatted, I can share with you. Basically, there are a lot of the activity you can do it, but these four, four common methods you can use it now and more success as, for, as so far as we implemented. Okay, it approves all the opportunity. Overall, somebody can say that your business can expand to online and offline. They mean you open multiple sales channels. They mean let your business become the open, online business only channel benefit already. Then for member uh, increasing, can you do a lot of member recurring sales and then make your member can retain accordingly. So this is opportunity you should get it. So make your business success. Beside that, what should you have beside on the booth? Just some mention about that. So I share some success thing. Beside the folks uh, success story, below I have some new concept you can use it. But this is a new proven success technique which is demand uh, for past half year. So there are four methods here. Number one, click and collect. Number two, especially really. Number three is integrate membership cycle. What it means about that? Click and collect basically is uh, one of the business model. A lot of the member, when it come to the purchase cycle, they can set prefer time or prefer outlet to do the correct item itself. This is called localized influence. Basically, when implement can collect, it's, it's the best way to make the customer come to your shop to do the self collect. In this moment, your shop has the chances to deal with the particular member. Because when customer reach your shop, so we have a chance to push your customer purchase second item. So this is a way how to increase your sale be the great and collect. Secondly, especially this information will help you to strengthen up your localized uh, community the challenges. If let's say you open the grocery in certain taman, because in this area, I don't think you are one of them is open the grocery, but if you implement the especially give a special benefit to those members who purchase and give it DVD space to their home, I believe you make your store your grocery shop will be outstanding compared to your competitors, am I right? Some more, with this action, you give uh, your customer expectation, customer experience much more higher. So this, the customer always stick to your company. In other words, if you implement this solution, you may be, make yourself become a, a good player in the market and your computer slowly, slowly will out of the market. So green collect and especially is one of the very important for your grocery to implement, to stand up from out of competitions. Lastly, integration membership means for that when you do online and offline sales, you should allow them the membership, gain the point during online purchase or offline purchase, gain the point from both way. Then after get the point, you can allow them to spend the point rewarded using in the online offline. So this is very important. Let the membership uh, sustain and Keep it away, keep in your, uh, what do you call? Let's remember, always stick to your company. This is a benefit of the O2O, whereby you can do integration together. So this is an engagement for you to think about it. It's a standing. When you come to the especially, so when you come to multi chain store, the localized order fulfillment is a really big challenge. What do you mean I said that? For example, let's say you got HQ, it's your warehouse. They have a multi bread store in different areas like your jaw branch, Pera branch, and cell branch. So now, one of the order coming from jaw, so how your system handle, how you do the localized order fulfillment. In traditional way, whatever order coming, automate the order will sing to HQ only. So HQ is prepared to store and send to the particular member's address. But with our system, in the localized order fulfillment, whatever order come from the Johor, system auto, auto detect the member address and auto assign the order go to particular, the nearest branches to the member's address. 
So the omit either hand, it helps your merchants not only do the order distribution system auto assign for you. Then at the same time, the especially every time you will be sorted because the auto orders assign a job branch. Job branch straight away get order, straight away can TV to customer immediately. Instead, you ask a care to send. Am right? The time frame is different. Thirdly, cost. When you in, in terms of local fulfillment, using our method, using local price to do the delivery, in, in the other hand, your cost of delivery cost will be lower down. At the same time, you give a better customer experience that we purchase your stock for online. The shipping fee is more reasonable because the price calculation is based on your branch to their home address. So this is how to utilize the localized fulfillment option to make the member purchase happiness and your safe company delivery cost. So this is another important factor when you implement the shipping fees. So as a summary, consider very competitive. So in competitive advantage is you need to invest our smart O2O ecosystem. I said that. When you implement ecosystem, mean to say you have your own brand name, brand apps name, and your own web store, your brand web store, then you can be made the self collect and especially delivery solution. And all the counter, you can be made the seamless payments, seamless payment like e wallet collections and credit card integration. Then in the all the multi multi hour store, you use our, our post mention whereby you easily manage multi hour store, how to manage the stock transfer, promotion activity, or in the single platform. Then in the multi chain store, you you can open in the marketplace or build your own e-commerce. Lastly, promotion order import very important factor. Whatever we do is in this how the whole cycle there is surrounding actually benefit to whom we have the membership. Because we need to give good service to your member. Let member free, you can buy our thing through apps or through online platform. Okay, before the self collect college TV option, also can do it. From there, this level point engagement is very important. Then from the member purchasing history, so another angle will let the merchant know when you design any promotion, you might know the customer purchasing history, the customer behavior. And then for different area, different location, what the item is selling about. So this all information you can gather through the membership program. So with this quality customer purchase insight, in order to help your business determine the next sales agency MRI. That's why you should have a proper smart auto ecosystem in order to get all the insight information and benefit for future planning. If you without this complete ecosystem, you're facing a lot of challenges, like how to manually track your stock and sales, how to do the many promotion by thinking because you don't have any sense how to do the decisions. Then when it comes to fulfill ordering, you may say, they say you got a lot of online sales coming, offline sales coming, then how you do the, the fulfillment? How you do that? More manpower. Because when it comes to multi-chain store, if the proper management, so how to manage the individual order, the orders process, the sell any did anything, so how to how to do that? No centralized system. This is how to manage all the order in one place. So that when you come to pub purchase, you need to know individual order, what the stock they are, uh, so they will become lower. So you need a centralized system to get the all information in one place. Then from there, you raise your PO accordingly. So this thing, you should think about that without the proper way. So how your custody can run very well. So talk so much, so how to kickstart? Actually, there are many ways you can do it yourself, if you know how to do it, or don't even worry, I can make it for you because we have a professional team to stand by for you. So what the action plan we should plan ahead in order can come to just how the uh, major plan. Actually, we got three phases. Huh? So what I propose for uh, share with you is the phase one. What you need to do is, you need to how to manage your inventory salary first. Then manage your stock and promotion and manage the PL for multi stock. So this is the first thing you need to do first. When you manage master 
the all the outlet sales activity, stock management, and payment for individual outlet, then you have clear picture of your all the outlet individual performance. From there, you start to phase two. That means that phase two, you start to recruit the membership. Why I say that? Because when the sales running uh, from day one down until now, there are a lot of prospect customer. So when a lot of customer come to the store to spend, so you should to retain the customer. So when the retain customer, you should have a membership program, right? Loyalty program. Let them come back. So we use the, the membership to retain a customer. From there, we start to be the member get member solution. Let your member introduce the member. From there, you can accumulate the membership by member introduce member the process method. Of course, not only that, you can do that, you just need to do a lot of engagement activity. Like just I mentioned to you, it's like birthday, uh, member birthday rewards, promotion, and then voucher, you need to do that. So that with this activity, your member will build happiness and start to recreate. So this is thing you need to do. Lastly, the phase three. When you're ready for that, so we can do the online sales. Let your customer membership can go through online to, to do the purchasing. Then so they give them the convenience to do the sale pickup and specifically. So this is a phase you should move on and think about that. Okay. This will depend on your company institution. For us, we prefer you have this kind of phase stage. So you can have a proper way to implement the whole solution. Lastly, why smart with okay, you? We are the system integration expert. So just I mentioned it's all the multi-chain store, but don't worry about that. When your business going big, you might think about how about I got warehouse system? It's okay. Smart can integrate our another vendor called WMS Mesh system. You can let us know, then we can share with you how you can manage your warehouse. We also have the integration module for you. No to worry about that. Then we have a 30 years of ritual and post specialists. Because we, we, into, we in, implemented more than 25,000 posts in whole nationwide. So we know a lot of the business in industry in and out. So we can share our experience so that you can adopt our business advice. So in your operation, it will be much more easy. Lastly, the scalable energy for all pieces. Mean to say is for you. Today, your investment may be just a major phase one. You can start for phase one first. Because our solution, you can add module by module. So we call scalable energy for you. Easy for investment. When it comes to open operation, we go to open outlet for home leisure, you know they were no need to worry about the support because we have a national team to support you. Means to say we open to Kota Baru, we have a local support team support you. So no need to worry about when you purchase a certain software, we go to our station, the cost will be higher. No. We always offer the best price for you. When it comes to implementation, we have a professional guidance from A to Z because I have professional whereby we are well trained. So no need, or no need to worry so much. So if then you don't know uh, insight more in your business, we can guide, we share our experience with you. So this is why we choose smart basically. Okay. So I share a lot of information. So trust in our experience as a supply. So I share you our success story, our implementation with our customer base. I mean the costly climb we had implemented before and then share with you how they look like. So I share the one is the Jom Zimat Economist. Actually it's two dollar shop. He sell uh, he opened stock near or the southern urban or rural area. So they this I this particular shop they have more than ten thousand items in their sh the shop. So they provide of the very cheap two dollar shop per items. So currently the shop outlet is more than 70 outlet. The post is most 176 posts. Bank user, the 45. So this is uh, our biggest uh, cost franchise in our costly client. Second is Super Safe. This Super Safe is located in the East Malaysia. So they established in 1994. Currently, the expanded outlet is already reached to 68. They also open outlet in the KL. Not only East Malaysia, they start their business Especially to West Malaysia already. So currently they have one three one post, bank is about seven. There's a lot a lot here, like trademark in the Kuala Tengganu, Chima in KL, BAS 
supermarket in I think in the Panghang, franchise jungle food in the KL, Kafu Subomai in the Kuching, King Hock Subomai, I think in the Binang, Li Sing Hing in Johor Bahru, Go Mary and more, more, more. So a lot of supermarket here talk about solution. Not only, only 10 is more than that. I just share with you the 10 popular in our groceries clients. Okay, not only that, I just share with you. This is uh, one of the called the tariff mark in Toronto. This is one of the first our consider that implement our full solution. Mean to say they start using our full ML channels. It means that implement the fresh uh sell and pick up and good uh, shipping especially They implement the whole solution from smart. You see, this is their website. So then this is their own brand called Tradif. Then you can purchase item accordingly. Then they can do the set pickup and wherever you can do it, is also can do it. So this is one of the success we do in the Coral in the Coral Dengano. They got 22 hours uh, currently. Sales are very good. Sorry, sorry, in the Johor, there is called Racing Mark. Okay, Racing Mark, basically, before they start using our software, they already start doing the online business study. But that is very manually to do it, manage the online store. So on that particular time, the sales they could, but they cannot do a spend because it's very hard to do manually to tracking the item to the delivery. So after a top hour solution, the sales they grow three times, just using one month time period after implement. I believe today they start more than four times already because using the our solution. Or they give convenient for customer. You see, make the order online. They in the merchant side, they easy to pay back uh, to the local fully occurring. It's very fast and easy. So we can foresee in the grocery industry, this is new shopping online business experience. You should adopt it. You see, this two success story. So I hope, ladies and gentlemen, what we share today, you have a clear picture how to with your business success. In summary, overcome the challenges like competition, operation, customer expectation, and security, you should adopt the solution like better operation and stock management, and self maximization, member management. Lastly, using the smart ecosystem, omnichannel complete management to help you to grow your business accordingly. All right, this is the today's sharing. And hopefully you can enjoy. And any question you ask, please raise your question if you have any. Or yeah. you can call to the four person here at any time. This our uh, colleague. They always stand by and serve for you. So this is uh, my sharing of today. Thank you very much. Thank you, Simon. I like your sharing very much. I think it's very fine uh, today. I mean, this is a, this is only a, a sharing, right? Not too technical. If you want to know more technical, like, oh, I want to know, you say about the integration part, uh, how, how is that work? Then you come to us, right? We come to yeah. us, we Correct. arrange a one-to-one -one, um, section to let you know exactly the, the, the system part, how is this integration work? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Correct, because just now sharing is more concept wise. For data operation, you should have uh, maybe cause a separate section we can share with you how to make the things work. Yeah, and then I think I also uh, more to talk about la, like we keep mentioned the ecosystem. So maybe you're not too clear that uh, how, how is this uh, express delivery or click and collect? How is this integration work with a post, with offline and online business? This all we can show at uh, another section. If uh, you come and you come to us, then we show you how exactly this kind of cycle to work in the system. Yes. Okay. Thanks, everyone. I hope you all have a, a good, good weekend, a good day, and okay, see you thank again you. next month. Bye. Bye bye.